theatre and what it does for the public initially to have entertainment brought to their front doors for a thousand miles is bloody fantastic. I always respected my peers and the people like Sterling and people like that and you see that banking. I mean, Adam was driving at the time, so, well I have seen it, I'm on Monza a lot, although not the banking. And you know, he said, oh dear, I don't, I don't like it up here. And I said, because you're doing 50 miles an hour, or 40, it's actually, it actually doesn't feel too safe. And I said, well, don't worry about it. And we carried on, but I mean, it's, it's incredible to be able to go around it. I mean, it's part of history, and a major part of European history, to be honest, there's nowhere else like it. And I think what, I think what is fantastic is the fact that everybody's kept, you know, is keeping it for the cars of that era. It's, they can't make it in normal modern cars. There'll always be these historic cars, and it's a matter of how many people are prepared to let them run. You know, it's like there weren't any 250 GTOs out there, but they were probably too new. But if there had been, you know, 25, 35 million each, something nobody would be that keen to let it run, and I don't blame them either. So, was, you know, we must watch these cars don't get too ridiculously out of proportion. But I think, you know, no, what it's done, as you say, you know, just for the public to see these cars, there just aren't events like it. I mean, to think the way we were, I mean, I've got so much of photographs of us sort of with the cops either side of us in front of us, calling people through and weaving down the road, you know, to sort of tell people to get out of the way. And the public seemed to take it. I didn't really see any incidents as far as I was concerned. Got close a couple of times, but actually nearly rammed a cop when he had a break, went sideways.